Alright guys, welcome back to Metal Gear Solid 3 Sneaking Action. Oh yeah. So, what I'm trying to do is crop the image just right, so this way... Are you kidding me? Oh my god. Well, I'm sorry, I got a little distracted there, but... Anyway, what I was going to say was that I'm going to try to crop this image thing so I won't get any more black bars on the sides. Hopefully that'll work with at least Metal Gear. I'm trying to make it work with Suikoden too, but there's a little bit that's like cut off, but there's no text that's cut off, so... Hopefully I'm just going to test out these uh, new views today. Alright. So let's crawl up here, because I don't know who's over there. Whether they're looking over here or not, kind of makes me paranoid. Tiger Stripe. I should probably wear that gecko. Oh well. I keep... Oh well. Whatever. Anyway, you got this over here. Uniform Splitter. Very... Oh my god. That's probably one of the most important camos in the game. It's a splitter. Aim. Very nice. Ooh. Yeah, that was a close call, but the first one was nice. <laughs> it's like it was, it was like a perfect headshot, and the other soldiers like, "Huh? What's going on? Is he dead?" So. All right, now that's what happens when you shoot the uh, power source and the electricity goes out of the fence. <gasps> Froggy! Yay. Um, well, if you want to shoot it, there you go. <laughs> I'm not really gonna be shooting any of the Froggies, because all that really does... I don't know if I told you this, guys, already, but... Basically, what happens if you shoot all of the Frogs... You get stealth camo for your next playthrough, so I figured why the hell do that since we're only going to do one playthrough. But stealth camo is pretty cheap, I mean... What that does is, like, pretty much make, makes you invisible, so... It's not really worth it, in my opinion. It just takes the fun out of Metal Gear. I do have stealth in Metal Gear Solid 4, though, because I earned it the hard way. <clears throat> Alright, so let's just... We got the radar on. I remember there being a soldier over here. And there's like a ton of traps over here too. It's like ridiculous. So it's better to crawl. Because if you just crawl, then you can avoid all of them. Excellent. Yeah, my sharpshooting skills are coming back. Plus the sights on the uh, M19 that I have. Like the new one. They're actually really good. Like, I do like the silver stuff good. Not too bad. Let's eat these crocs. What can I say? Nom, nom, nom. There you go. Alright, guys. So, we are here. Um, Basically, what I'm going to do... I'm going to shoot this guy. Ooh. Anyway, <laughs> like nobody heard those gunshots, but anyway. Uh, there are conversations you can unlock every time you save, which I just did. So pretty much what I'm going to do is just skip all of those conversations and then just make another playlist uh, showcasing those conversations in uh, separate videos altogether. So this way it'll save time with this uh, LP, and then I could just focus more on Suikoden. I figured that this would be better that way. Who said AKs had bad aim? Look at that. Beautiful. I can almost snipe like this. Either that or Snake can handle guns wonderfully. Probably that. But I guess if you had the AK on full auto, I guess you wouldn't really hit anything. <clears throat> hmm. 
Hmm. Yeah, there's a guy down there. I don't know if you can see me from all the way down here, though. Yeah, there we go. Are you kidding me? Come on. There you go. Come on, one shot, one kill, Snake. What did they teach you in the army? How to eat raw food and shit? Come on. <sighs> I can't wait till I get the SVD. That's like my most favorite weapon in the entire game. The SVD. And then you have the AK. I pretty much like the uh, Soviet weapons better than the American, but... You don't get you don't really get a lot of American weapons except the M nineteen and the M sixteen, which you get later on. It kinda sucks that you lost it like after the virtuous mission, but hey. Alright, I don't think there's anybody else here, so let's just climb up this ladder. Do 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 do. Alright. Now I have been caught <clears throat> on top of this roof before. Hmm, apparently that'll have to work. So basically, if you just stand and then just shoot everyone from here, you're going to get caught if you miss. So basically, it's the one-shot, one-kill uh, motto definitely applies here. And there's also a uh, camouflage, but I'll get that later. Let's try to... Ooh. Oop, oop, get him. Very nice. There we go. I need an AK for him. Oh yeah. I'm doing good. Alright. Uh, let's pan the area here. That is a sick looking helicopter, by the way. There's that guy all the way over there by the warehouse. Hmm. Well, let's just get that camo again. Water, that'll come in handy, too. Only in a select parts of the game. I mean, you really can't use it like Splitter. But still, it's handy in, uh, in a couple of places. So you still want it. The green looks beautiful today as Snake tries to home in on this one soldier. Come on, I can do it. Did I get it? Oh shit! That is good aim. Shit. Makes me wonder why I fail so hard at Metal Gear Online. But those guys are like beasts. Like, that's all they do is just play Metal Gear Online. Like, that gameplay for MGS4 is so restrictive. Like, I don't know how you can play it online against other people. Like, it's insane. It's really built more for sneaking than, uh, like, Halo gameplay. Because I have Killzone. The uh, controls are, like, totally different from MGS4. So it's like, eh. I find those controls to be much easier to use within a multiplayer setting. Yep, there's no one in here. I always like to have fun with this base after I kill everyone. I know, it sounds kind of wrong that I said that, but... Whatever. Anyway, in here you have your food. Alright, you got rations. Nice. And don't forget the mice are here, too. Get back here! Okay. Yum, yum, yum. Yay, rats. <clears throat> Yes, you can eat rats, and they're actually really good. Yeah, let's get rid of that. That's spoiled already? I just remember it being fresh. Oh, well. Too bad you can't carry the rest of that food with you. But, there is a little trick. And it'll help you, let's just say, if you suck at sneaking and you manage to get caught in a certain area. If you use dynamite to blow up the uh, arms warehouse and the uh, rations warehouse. Uh, pretty much what happens when you get caught, the soldiers won't shoot at, at you as much, because obviously they'll be conserving their ammo. And here, this is this room is like totally like useless. You can't even blow it up because there's it serves no importance. 
But getting back to the point, if you get caught, soldiers won't really uh, shoot you that much. And you'll pretty much starve the soldiers if you blow up the food house, so it's like, hey. Alright, yeah. That guy is dead. I certainly sniped him with the AK. I wish you could do this in Metal Gear Solid 4, just walk like this, all badass. Aw, oh, that would've been awesome if I opened the door with a gunshot. I know you can do it with a few doors. Probably not with the iron doors. Alright, you got the TNT, grenade, AKs, WPGs. Oh, nice, I got a whole bunch of shit. Shag this guy. Probably get another grenade. Smoke grenades, and... We're going to blow this base up, so I will see you in a little bit.